there were an equal number of boys and girls in the school. So the first part, I'm going to draw two portions, boys and girls, and they have the equal length of the model. Now they say, one third of the boys wore spectacles. So I'm going to chop this into three parts because the denominator is the total number of units. So three units and one unit, which is the top numerator, wore spectacles. As for girls, there are five units in all. And how many units wore spectacles? Three. So I'm going to cut it into five parts. So five parts and three parts wore spectacles. And then the next part, it tells us that the total number of boys and girls who wore spectacles is 252. So which means everything that we have highlighted just now, this entire portion, is equals to 252. So the question is, they want to find out the total number of boys and girls in the school. Before we do that, let me revise with you the concept of division. Before you can do any division, you have to ensure that every part of the model is in equal parts. So if I want these small little parts, I have to ensure that all of them are in the same portion, in fifths. But as you can see right now, the portion in the boys is larger than one portion in the girl. So I am not able to divide 252 by the total units. So looking at the total units 3 and 5, I can come up with a common multiple of 15. And for girls as well, 15 units. Okay, so what do I mean? I'm going to cut every portion of boys into 5 units. And I get 15 units. As for girls, I'm going to cut every portion into 3 units. So 3 times 5, I also get 15 units. Since they are of the same length, and they are 15 and 15 for both models, which means every portion, it is of the same size. Now let's check out how many units of girls wear spectacles. 3, 6, 9. As for boys, 5 units. So now we can gladly add it up. 5 plus 9, which is equals to 14. 14 units wore spectacle. And we can say that 14 units is equals to 252. And now we can do the division. 1 unit is equals to 252 divided by 14, you will get 18. The last step, because there are 15 units of boys and also 15 units of girls, that gives us 30 units, which is the total number of total units of boys and girls. So to find the total number, I will take one unit, sorry, I will take one unit which is 18, multiply by 30 units. And I'll get the answer of 540. So there are 540 boys and girls. Okay, now I'm going to show you a second method to solve this without drawing model. Let's take a look at the fraction which is for boys, we have one third who wore spectacles and for girls is three fifth who wore spectacles. Since they say that there were equal number of boys and girls in the school, the denominator should be the same. 
which now I'm going to cut, um, come up with the common multiple of 15. So I will change the fraction into 15 units by finding the common multiple. That means for boys, I have to multiply the fraction and change it to equivalent fraction, multiplying by 5, so I get 5 out of 15. As for the girls, I have to multiply by 3, so I get 9. Let's take a look at this new fraction. Do you find it familiar to the model? 15 refers to the total units. As for 5 that we have here for boys, is the number of units of boys who wore spectacles. As for girls, 9 units wore spectacles, same as what we have drawn in the model. And total, there are 15. And so from here, I'm going to do the same step, which is 5 plus 9 equals to 14. And I link it to 252, same step. The next step is to find one unit, similar. And the last step, I will add 15 units plus 15 units, which is the sum of units of boys and girls. I get 30. So the last step to find 30 units, 18 times 30 units, which is 540. So there are two ways you can draw a model to see. Once you're more familiar, you can tackle it by changing it to a common denominator. Thank you.